Allison is planting a garden this morning, a micro garden. She's live in Green Bay with the details. Morning, Allison. Hey, good morning. This is a micro garden right here, and uh, we're talking about the Got Dirt program this morning. It's it's a program from the state that gives teachers and child care providers the resources they need to grow gardens like this micro farm right here. It's really a micro farm. We're with uh, Kristen Bittner here at UW Extension in Brown County. Good morning. Good morning. So why don't you explain how the micro farm works? Micro farm is basically a garden on a cart and there's a light under there that kind of helps the plants grow and you're just growing mit microgreens which are the little immature sprouts of the plants. So you're actually eating the tops of the plants instead of kind of the roots, for example, with a carrot, you're eating the tops of the carrots instead of the part you would traditionally eat. Okay. So do you need special seeds for that? No, but you can just use regular seeds, and it's actually very easy to plant your micro farm. So what, we've got a plastic tray here with some um, potting medium in it, and you're going to take that package of seeds mm -hmm. and just sprinkle some seeds into the tray. Okay. Those are full seeds. Okay, so we have some beets here. Just sprinkle them around. Yep. And then here's a little tip for you. Mm -hmm. In order to kind of cover them up, you actually just take a pencil and kind of move it back and forth, and that's going to cover them up enough to get them planted for you. Okay. So once you do that, you just water the tray, put a plastic lid on top of it, and put it right in your micro farm, and you are set to go. All right. So I'll grab some carrots here. So those are all little carrots in there, but we're not going to eat those. We're going to eat the green part. Right. So in order to harvest and eat your microgreens, you just basically give it a little haircut and you just go ahead and trim the tops. Like a chia pet. Exactly. <laughs> and then you're going to want to rinse that off before you eat it. Okay. So I'm going to try some carrot greens here. Those taste kind of like carrots, surprisingly, but greener, right? Hmm. Interesting. So you could put those on salads and things like that? Exactly. So we actually have some video of some students at McAuliffe School who are working on their micro garden. Why is it? Why would this be valuable in a classroom? Um, this is great for classrooms, especially in Wisconsin, because we have a very short growing season. And normally, with an outdoor garden, all the exciting stuff happens in the summer when kids are home. Mm -hmm. So having the micro farm allows you to actually start planting and have a garden in the classroom in January. So kids are involved in the process from start to finish. And I'm sure a lot of them had never probably heard of microgreens before. No, probably not. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to write to you, okay? No, you're good. <laughs> okay. Got to check my teeth there for the microgreens. And they can learn math and science and all about where their food comes from. It's just exactly. a great idea. Um, so people can contact UW Extension if they have any questions or want to get involved in this? Right, and if you go to our website, which is www.gotdirtwisconsin.org, we have information about the whole Got Dirt program. We've got manuals on how to do any of the gardening techniques that we've talked about. Cool. I'm still working on my greens here. <laughs> <laughs> I think they could use a little dressing. That would probably be good. But uh, just some cool ideas, some cool ways that students can get their green thumbs going extra early. Definitely. Thanks, Alice.